what? There's a McDonald's that um, sold one. Come here often, so. so much for being here everybody peace love and positive vibes guys thank you so much
so you can zip your top a little. so beautiful out guys like i said it's been raining and there's been thunder and it's been like really really awful weather and now it's like so pretty out but uh, we're gonna get storms again all week so that was a nice ride to the mountain it was really pretty to see the city from up up top of a mountain really enjoyed it There we go. Let me put you guys up. Sit. You know what? We're gonna go. We went already grocery shopping, but I'm gonna go to the grocery, which is grocery store right next door. Oh, you missed it, Stephen. Oh, we're gonna go another time. It's really, really beautiful, especially at this hour. We're gonna go. Keep your notifications on. My next broadcast is Tuesday. This Tuesday, 7 p.m. Eastern time. But I'm doing it at home so I could guess people because I'm having a hard time guessing people on my phone. And then we could go Thursday. So this coming Thursday around 7.30, 8 p.m. Eastern time, we'll go again to the mountain. It's really, really beautiful. The houses there are crazy. They start at 20 million and they go up to 60 million. They're so beautiful to look at. And then you get to see half of Montreal on that side of the mountain. And then on the other side is the other half of Montreal. Um, the mountain is huge, it takes over half the city. And our city is like 4 million people, 5 million, maybe more, I'm not sure. Um, beautiful view. There's usually quite a few people up there. There's raccoons. Beautiful wildlife, beautiful scenery. We'll go there again. I'm just gonna go to the store again. I'm gonna pick up some um, some fruits. We went shopping earlier, but I didn't get enough fruits, so we're just gonna see what they have. Are you adding? I will send you a link to the Twitter page. Okay, no problem. So you can remove the bag. No problem. I apologize if it is. Like I said, being straight up, I'm, I'm always straight up. Um, I don't recall anybody, but maybe I didn't accept anybody. There's a few people I didn't accept because I was having issues. But anyways, whatever the case is, no problem. Instagram, send me the link so I can un- your band or whatever blocked not banned blocked no problem so yeah three days ago was my birthday happy birthday happy birthday happy belated birthday my mother's birthday was may 19th but that's not in june <laughs> happy happy birthday did you have a good birthday Hiya? No, I'm not gonna hide you. I'm looking, okay, I already got strawberries. I'm looking for blueberries. They're $4.99. Oh, there's, oh, look at the price, guys, look at the price. $8. And it's half empty. Look at this bullshit. Look at, look how much, eight dollars. Are you friggin' kidding me? Look. Guys. Yeah, we're in a store. I want to get some, um, we usually go grocery shopping. We went earlier. So usually I do grocery shopping. We go to the mall. Um, we go to the pharmacy. We go to Starbucks. 
So I told you that I was trained to I bred all my dogs, have, all my animals have been rescue animals. So he's a little shih tzu, a little bugger, sweetie pie. Anyways, the wind opened my second door and it was like all of like a second and he took off and he ran through oncoming traffic and um so I panicked and I decided to chase him. I didn't even look both ways when I crossed the street. Um, come to think of it. And um, I ended up falling on my steps. So he's already gone. I'm, I'm in the process of trying to cross the street. But I fell on cement and a railing in the front of my house. So I ended up smashing my face on the railing. I smashed six teeth. I lost six teeth. I fractured my kneecap and blood was protruding out of my kneecap. I keep gas. Um, and I had to find the strength to get up and go chase him. And by the grace of God, he stopped at a post office box across the street because we walked there often and he liked the smell, I guess, because there was a scent of another dog, I guess, the pee pee smell of another dog. And he stopped and I was able to get him and uh, found the strength to get home. And as soon as I opened the door, I just screamed and there was blood protruding everywhere out of my knee. And my mom called the cab driver and he carried me to the cab and then I got like five, six stitches and um, lost my teeth. I haven't taken care of that yet because I'm afraid of dentists and dental work. And um, so I'm still recovering from that. And I'm so thankful he stopped because if he didn't, he would have 